Yesterday, on August 6, 2021, SpaceX created history without launching a rocket or sending a spaceship to orbit. Reaching a major Starship milestone, Elon Musk's SpaceX-mated Spaceship 20 and Super Heavy Booster BN4 to create the tallest, most powerful rocket humanity has ever built. In this video, we're going to be talking about all the key events that took place during the stacking of the Starship 20 and the Super Heavy Booster, and what lies before and beyond the first SpaceX Starship orbital flight. There's plenty to unpack, so stay with me and enjoy the ride. The stacking was completed just before 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday morning. The integrated stack of Ship 20 and Booster 4 was a nearly 400 foot tall vehicle dethroning the mighty Saturn V rocket as the tallest and the most powerful rocket ever. If you placed the stacked vehicle next to the Great Pyramid of Giza, that's how high it's going to be. The vehicle's two segments, an upper stage called Starship and a booster called Super Heavy, were connected together at the firm's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. When it eventually lifts off, it will produce twice the thrust of the vehicles that sent men to the moon. For comparison, the main engines on Apollo's famous Saturn V rockets delivered some 35 mega newtons of force of the pad. The new SpaceX Super Heavy should achieve around 70 mega newtons. A gigantic crane was deployed to mate the two segments together. They were held in the stacked position for an hour, allowing for fit checks and photo ops before decoupling them again. Starship prototypes stand at about 160 feet tall or around the size of a 16-story building and are built of stainless steel. Super Heavy Booster, which makes up the bottom half of the rocket, stands at about 230 feet. It's fitted with 29 Raptor engines including 20 Boost variants and 9 Gimbling Center variants as well as 4 non-folding grid fins. The Starship 20 upper stage is fitted with 6 Raptor engines including 3 Vacuum Optimized engines or RVACs and 3 Sea Level engines in the middle. One notable difference between previously shiny Starship prototypes and Starship 20 was that one half of the Ship 20 was covered in the small hexagonal heat shield tiles to help it survive the intense process of re-entering the Earth's atmosphere and improve the ship's durability. Musk noted that work on the tiles is about 98% done for Starship 20 as the remaining tiles are unique shapes requiring machining. Despite Friday's successful stacking, SpaceX may be several weeks, even months away from the inaugural flight before which extensive testing will be done in preparation for the orbital hop. Musk outlined four significant items that SpaceX has to complete over the next two weeks in preparing Starship 20 for launch. He said, SpaceX needs to add the final heat shield tiles to the ship, add thermal protection to the Raptor rocket engines in Booster 4, complete work on ground propellant storage tanks, and add a quick disconnect arm or DQ arm to the top of the recently built launch tower. The quick disconnect arm connects power and fuel lines to the rocket before launch. The orbital flight will entail the booster hauling the Starship into space for three quarters of the way around the Earth trip. The flight will terminate with Starship landing in waters off the Hawaiian island in the Pacific Ocean. The Super Heavy will be dumped in the Gulf of Mexico. Mind you, this is just a test flight. Ultimately, SpaceX plans to engineer controlled touchdowns for both segments, either on land or on sea platforms so they can be reused. You can watch my video on the sea platforms and what future Starship flights will look like by clicking the link in the top right corner. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk says, when fully deployed, the Starship system will be capable of taking humans to the moon 
and Mars. It could also ferry people quickly around the world, putting satellites in orbit is another obvious application. In fact, the American space agency NASA has already awarded SpaceX $2.9 billion contract to produce a version of the Starship upper stage that can land astronauts near the lunar South Pole this decade. Friday's milestone follows months of feverish activity in Boca Chica because Elon Musk is keen to launch the Starship vehicle as soon as possible. However, the pair won't be allowed to launch until SpaceX has secured a license from the Federal Aviation Administration. The government agency is currently conducting an environmental review, which means the maiden orbital flight is still a way off. But that didn't stop Elon Musk from describing the brief stacking of the two segments as a dream come true. This is a big statement coming from a man who's known to be a workaholic and who rarely sleeps long enough to have any dreams in the first place. But we are certainly keeping our eyes wide open for what unfolds next. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching.